Hey everybody, Melissa here. So if you've ever seen your website display weird characters and you're like me, then two things immediately happen. First, you get confused because you don't know what you're looking at or why it happened. And then you get frustrated because you know if you're seeing that displayed on your website, so are your visitors. So it's something we know we have to get fixed fairly quickly. So today I'm going to show you what causes it and how to fix it. Now, just as an FYI, I use Bluehost as my hosting provider. My theme is Newspaper 12, and my cache plugin is WP Super Cache, but the process should be fairly similar no matter what you're using that's causing the issue. I cannot wait to show you how this works, so let's go ahead and get started. So on this website, Ben and Mel Travels, you can see we have nothing but the weird characters. Now you may hear this referred to as a double compression issue or a gzip compression issue, but in very simple terms, there are multiple things on your website trying to compress it for speed. They are conflicting or fighting. Everything is getting confused and this is the end result. In my case, it is my hosting provider, Bluehost, and my caching plugin, WP SuperCache. So let's go look at how to fix it. From your Bluehost dashboard, if you go over to Websites, go down to Settings, and then go to Speed, you will see that Caching Control is on. From your WordPress dashboard, if you go over to the left of Bluehost, go down to Performance, you will see your caching level is on and it says assets and web pages. And this is the first thing on our website trying to compress it. To look at the settings of WP SuperCache, on the left we're going to go to plugins. We're going to find the WP SuperCache plugin and we're going to go to the settings. And as you see at the very top, caching is on. So that is the second thing trying to compress. And that is what is causing our website to display those weird characters. So in this instance, the double compression is coming from Bluehost and WP SuperCache. However, if you have two caching plugins that are both trying to do compression, you can end up with the same issue. You need to make sure one or the other is told not to handle the compression to let the other one. So before we go any further, we need to decide which one we want handling our compression, our web hosting provider or our plugin. I let my cache plugin handle it for two reasons. Number one, the developers of my theme newspaper 12, this is who they recommend, this is who they test with, and they give us the exact settings to set in here to make sure that our theme is running as fast as it can. The other reason is, is if we go back to Bluehost, your cache control settings, you have three options. In WordPress, you just have one thing you can do here, and that is select assets only, assets and web pages, or extended. In WP Super Cache, you have all kinds of granular settings that you can change to make sure that it is caching the way that you want it to and as fast as it can. If you do have a way to get a hold of your theme developers, like a forum or an email, you might want to check with them because there may be one specific caching plugin that they recommend, like TagDiv does for Newspaper 12, or they may be able to provide you with the settings you need to make sure that it's running really fast. But if it were up to me, I would use the cache plugin because you have more control over the cache settings. Okay, now let's look at how to fix the website. Now that we've decided we want WP SuperCache to handle our compression, we need to tell Bluehost not to. Now if you remember, we had two places in Bluehost. One was in our WP Admin, Websites and Speed, and our Cache Control. The other was within WordPress, Bluehost, Performance, and our Cache Level. We have to change it both places. So let's go back to our WP Admin and we're going to turn the cache control off. Now this message is gonna pop up saying it's gonna slow your speed down. Just remember, we have a plugin that's handling it, so it's okay to turn it off here. And let's tell it to confirm. And it says it's been turned off successfully. 
Now what we want to do is clear our cache. So we're going to click on clear all and it says you have cleared all cache successfully. Now we're going to go to WordPress and we're going to tell it in our cache level to disable. And it says your cache was saved successfully. Now we want to clear our cache within WordPress. So when we cleared it here, we are clearing it on the hosting provider level. When we clear it in here, we're clearing it on a WordPress level to make sure everything is cleared out and reset. So we'll go up here to delete cache and the cache is deleted. Now let's go check our website. So I'm in Firefox and as you can see, even though we just did all of that, I still have these weird characters. So what I'm gonna do is just another extra step is I'm going to clear the cache in Firefox just to make sure everything is reset. So we'll go here and go to history, clear recent history. I'm gonna tell it all of this and everything, clear now. And now I'm gonna close Firefox and bring it back up. Okay, now we're gonna put in the website. Keep your fingers crossed. No, it's gonna work. <laughs> so let's put in Ben and Mel Travels. And as you can tell, it doesn't have it in my history. So it is for sure gone. And we're going to hit enter. How beautiful is that? No more weird characters, just our website. Now, if your website is displaying weird characters, you know where to start to get it back up and running as quick as possible. And that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this in the future, be sure to click that subscribe button before you leave. And don't forget to hop on out to my website, melcompton.com, for written instructions for this tutorial and so much more. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.